Hi everyone and welcome. We are so excited for you to join us this evening for a playtest of Sagas, um, which is an amazing system that Dennis has created um, and is also jamming for us this evening. My name is Jess and my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I am going to pass it over to Daryl for him to introduce himself. Hello, I'm Daryl. I use he, him pronouns and I'm excited to play the system as well. Do I have to do? Is, it, it, was it was I supposed to do more? Popcorn it to Shiloh. Shiloh, it's you now. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Shiloh. I use she/her pronouns. I'm super stoked to play Sagas, and I will popcorn it over to our wonderful GM. Hi, I'm Dennis. Uh, I use he, him pronouns. You can find me all over the internet at okayist underscore underscore DM. And we are a well-oiled machine tonight. Everything is going perfectly. Hell yeah. Let's get into it. Let's play this game. Let's play some sagas. So, we will start off in a old forest. As the camera moves between the trunks of the trees, you can hear the wind blowing softly through the leaves. Little critters along the ground scurry out of the way as a car approaches a run-down, very old-looking house. The car is not as old as the house, but well-loved uh, and completely full. You know, suitcases strapped to the top, um, the back windows uh, almost completely full all the way uh, with just more stuff. Um, and as the car slows to a stop in the driveway, two people get out. One of them is a middle-aged man um, he he's got the dad bod going uh, wearing just a plain white t-shirt uh, you can still see you can see like uh, pit stains from the sweat of a hot car and uh, he start immediately starts unhooking the bungee cords on the top to start taking suitcases inside of this house the other person getting out of the car well, I'll let Jess describe what they look like. Yeah, uh, so you see like a small seven-year-old. Uh, seven-year-olds are typically small, but KJ is small even for a seven-year-old. Uh, they have like a wild mop of hair on their head um, and a big old mischievous grin uh, on their face. And they're just kind of bopping around, looking at dad, seeing what's going on. It's a very, very exciting time for you. Uh, after a long and extremely boring car ride, uh, you're finally here at a new place that you're going to spend the next several years in, at least. And you cannot wait to get started exploring this house and the forest around it. Uh, it is very much out in the middle of nowhere, um, the last house you passed was maybe five minutes ago in the car. Um, but this, this place looks like it could be a home. It's going to need some work and you're not going to help. You have no plans on helping. Um, so as your dad starts, uh, bringing suitcases inside and is unlocking the door, what are you going to do? Um, I think I'm just going to, like, walk over to what I assume is a nearby creek um, and look for flat and shiny rocks and skip them all over and terrorize the local frogs. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that without, like, even saying a word to Dad. I'm just going to go. Oh, yeah. And um, I wonder if he notices. Uh, he sort of clocks you leaving uh, and this is something that we see and KJ does not but we see dad always has his watchful eye always knows where you are at all times um, 
even if you've run off on your own without saying anything. You quickly find a perfect creek. Um, it's got all sorts of little rivers, uh, like uh, like deltas, where it splits around piles of sand and continues flowing on. Um, you can see maybe three or four frogs right from the get-go that you can go around, terrorize, and catch. Um, looking through for uh, something shiny specifically, I'll ask you to give me a check for that. And uh, how checks work in sagas is the GM, me, will ask you to make a check if you try to attempt something that might be somewhat difficult. Um, you will look through your character sheet and see if anything could apply. So if you're looking for shiny rocks, uh, having good vision would apply. Um, looking, Being good at looking for clues might apply. Uh, but if you don't have anything, then you will be rolling a d10. And this is a roll low system. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that would give me any help. So I'm just gonna roll a straight d10. Yep. And I rolled two! Oh, you find the best stuff. There's these, uh, little, uh, you find a whole cluster of, like, little pink rocks, um, like crystals, like, mostly transparent. You can see the cracks in them, uh, from the outside as they just course through the gem, um, and all of them are sort of embedded inside this one uh, larger piece of, looks almost like cement, and you uh, try to heft it out, and it's like <sniffs> stuck in the water and the sludge, um, but with enough effort, you manage to unclog it, and um, immediately the hole underneath fills with more water from the creek. Um, your hands are already filthy, which is your normal state of being, I assume. <laughs> um, and as you're looking around, holding this thing up, like hefting it and like hold it up to the sun, um, you catch something moving inside one of these crystals. Um, I'd probably shake it a little bit and go, Ooh, what's in there? What do you? What do we have here? Uh, as KJ talks to themselves and shakes this crystal, um, the camera pans back slightly, and standing behind them on either side are two figures. Uh, Daryl, if you'll please describe what your character looks like. Um, standing quite tall, uh, wearing basically a pinstripe suit uh, complete uh, complete with vest and shirt uh, almost looking halfway there like it looks like a half man half smoke like there looks like a bit of smoke billowing out of him whenever he does kind of move this like a little bit of trail of it uh, is Mr. Damon uh, he is very appealing to look at when he is not moving or when he means to be almost it looks like he's choosing this form specifically but it looks uh essentially he's a he's uh he's kind of a mix between uh hexus from ferngully and hades from uh hercules where there's always just a little bit of something drifting off of him but he looks like he's dressed dressed himself to the nines uh he has pointed ears, kind of uh, elvish looking, if I had to compare it to anything, when he is uh, choosing to not be very creepy looking. Uh, brown skin and uh, the equivalent of a cowboy Stetson as well. Like he looks like a, almost like a, like an oil man, like a, like an oil baron that just wore a suit, decided I'm going to wear a cowboy hat with this. But also, uh, look at all this smoke and weird bear, uh, bay like stuff that drifts off of me. Like everything is very purposeful. 
and standing right next to the poised and smoky Damon, uh, Shiloh, please describe what your character looks like. So uh, rather than standing, you will find her perched on a branch. Um, she's a medium sized uh, owl and she has um, navy, like navy uh, fat, uh, plumage, uh, but it also has a purple sheen to it. And she has giant eyes that are, they're just like kind of peering constantly and noticing what's going on and has ring like big ringlets around her eyes as well that are kind of like light purple and she has um big uh ear tufts that kind of go above they kind of look like big brows and they kind of feather out a little bit and they're they also have a um turquoise purple uh sheen to it and um her yeah so her chest is kind of very uh, puffed out but she's kind of noticing what's going on and her and she also has a um a leather <laughs> a tiny leather pouch that kind of straps along but it's tucked underneath her feathers if that makes sense and uh, her name is pick pick and damon you're watching this uh human child um you've not seen humans here in years um, this is sort of your domain, your your homes, this section of the forest. Um, this house has been overrun by spirits like the two of you. Um, most of the time, humans can't see them, but it appears that uh, this child seems to have noticed your reflections or something inside the gems that they've found. Uh, but can she see us? I don't understand how she could. Or me. Uh, sh should we get a little closer? I don't see one now. Alright. I'll, I'll like, kind of hop a little bit closer. I let pick go first <laughs> i do the fake <laughs> i do the fake step forward and then very much don't <laughs> step forward uh kj you can hear this odd whispering two voices one of them very high but you can't really tell what it says and a much deeper one responds I think I'm gonna shake it harder and say, "Why won't you come out of here? Just, I just want to play. That's it. Come on now." The rock comes loose from your hands as you try to shake it, and it lands on a boulder and just shatters into a dozen pieces. But you can see the crystals that were embedded inside it are now completely free. Gonna go and grab them. And I'm going to immediately stuff them into my pocket. And I'm going to, like, look around to make sure that nobody has seen me pocket these. Uh, do we know what these crystals are? Um, make a check to see if you know what these crystals might be. What am I rolling? That depends. Do you have anything that might benefit, uh... I have about knowledge the about the spirit realm. <laughs> Absolutely, that would apply. Is that, but am I rolling a D8 for that? It's, yes. Uh, okay. Just want to make sure that I'm selecting your, a rubber your, die. Uh, talent there gives you a lower die, and therefore, better chance of rolling well. That is a seven. You've heard of, you might have heard of these. Um, you know that there are certain minerals that can be used as windows into the spirit world that is overlaid across the human world. Um, you're guessing that these rocks probably are something like that, but you don't know any specifics and you certainly don't know how to use them. Um, how far away is this human from me? I know I moved closer, but what was the distance? At this point, like three feet 
Is there anything on the other side of them? Like, are there trees or like, we're near yeah, a this, aren't we? Uh, this house sort of has like a uh, lawn. Uh, it's uh, the there's the wooden uh, sort of white paint peeling house in the back that looks like it has um, oh, part of the wood is rotting and th things around it are broken. Some of the windows have been shattered. Um, there is a unkept yard that's just filled with weeds. Um, and this creek is sort of like the border between the yard and the forest of trees with an overhanging canopy. Um, okay, so I'm going to fly over and swoop low towards the all the crystals and swipe one and then go to the other side. Uh, KJ, give me a check to see if you notice that. If you notice one of the crystals just disappearing. Hmm. I would, and I was also going to ask if I could sneak up on KJ. Don't scare KJ. I rolled an eight. Give me a check to see if you can sneak. Yes, uh, I have moved silently, so uh, D eight for stealth whenever I move. Yep. Three. Uh, you move up very closely watching this child as they uh, surreptitiously pocket all of these crystals uh, not noticing and it doesn't appear that they notice one of them uh, gets picked up by peak I'm kind of just crouched I right behind KJ in a real Kakashi like uh, Kakashi sneaking up on Naruto type deal. <laughs> um, and you actually jump a little bit as a voice from the house goes, KJ! KJ? What do you want, Dad? I heard something break out there. Are you alright? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. Nothing broke out here. Everything's okay. All right. Well, come inside when you get hungry, okay? Okay. Oh, little fibber. Do you say yeah. that into my yep. ear? Yep. <laughs> um, you and will you hear, hear the it. loudest fucking screech uh, as I, like, almost jump out of my skin and turn around. You just and see this face behind as you. As you spin around, you see this spirit. <laughs> With a almost almost too wide grin and some elongated uh, canine teeth, and they're very white. Uh, hi, Mister. Oh, I look at Pete Pit, <laughs> not expecting, <laughs> not expecting you to turn around <laughs> and respond. Whoa. No. What? KJ. How do you know my name? How can you see me? Uh, I don't know. I could. I have these eyeballs that are attached to my face. And, um, well, the world is full of mystery, isn't it? It, it? it is. Well, what's your name? George. I don't. Do I? Is your name George? It took a while to say that. No, I didn't. But you, you looked away, and then you said, George? Okay, um, okay, Mr. George, it's nice to meet you. I'm gonna actually, um, can I mimic KJ's dad's voice and call out to KJ? Uh, do you have something that allows you to do My that? My trait is vocal mim mimicry. <laughs> So, uh, yes. I think, do you even need to make a check for that? It doesn't, it's just not applicable for die, so. Okay, yeah, you can, your voice can mimic sounds and other voices. So I'm gonna, I'll fly and land on, uh, Damon's shoulder. You have a shoulder, right? <laughs> You're like, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll land on his shoulder and be like, KJ! KJ! 
And I see you also. Yeah, Whoa! See what? Uh, George, who's this? Why? Why does? Why do they sound like my dad? This is weird. You guys are weird. It, it, it's, a, it's a bird. It's obviously a, 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 mock, a mocking bird. I think I read about those little book ones. I'm not a mocking bird. Like, don't call me that. How, wait, how can... wait, you can say stuff that's not in my dad's voice too? What the heck is going on oh, here? Oh yeah, YouTube? I was just I was just trying to get used to your 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 name. It's it's a it's a cool name. Um uh, how how can you see us? Well, like I was telling George, I have these two eyeballs in my head Who's and they George? let me see. This is George, your friend. I, I uh, look at Damon and I'm like I, I I for a second uh, turn into a complete plume of smoke and then reconstitute myself. <laughs> Peak, you just fall like a half a foot. Uh, like, <laughs> like you come back up and like, <laughs> warn me next time. Do How did you do that, me. George? That was really cool. Do not perceive me. <laughs> I don't know what that word means. Perceive is, is to see. Oh, like I like I do with these two eyes. Okay, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, his name's not George, by the way. He was like he he does that a lot. I'm gonna cross my arms, and like put one of my feet out in front of the other, and just stare at you. I'll do the same thing with my feathers. I'll just <laughs> yeah, see. It's not it's not to lie. But it sure is fun. I won't disagree there, but when you're meeting someone new, you should... Why, why do you gotta lie? Because I can. Nothing really? bad's gonna happen to me. Because Anyways, his name is David, and I'm Pick. David and Pick. You guys are my, my new friends. It's so nice to meet you. Do you live here? I... We... Do we live here? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is this is the place you call home. This yeah, we uh we inhabit this area. Are you are you new here? Uh yeah, me and my dad just got here. We were driving for like eighteen hundred years, um and then That's I kept saying time. I know, and I was like, Dad, are we there yet? And I said that at least three times and he said, No, we're not there yet, KJ. And then finally we were here and now I have these cool rock stuff and then and, uh, the YouTube. That's so cool. We uh, made a new as friend. You reach into your pocket to retrieve the rocks to show them you find that they are not there. I'm going to look straight at George, a.k.a. Damon, and say, Did you take the rocks that were in my pocket? No. And I'm going to look at Pick and say, Could I trust him? No. Uh, well, <laughs> sort of, not really. I don't know. It's complicated. Um, I'll look into my pouch, because if... if KJ doesn't seem to have the if the rocks now. I'm wondering if I have one. I swiped one as well. Uh, your rock is still there. Huh. And I'll, I'll pull it out. I'm like, I I took one just because it looked cool, and I like to take shiny, cool looking things, and I'll I'll, I'll hand it to her. When uh, you, to them. When you say that, I'm gonna like, like, kind of jolt up and say, I like taking shiny cool things i know what you were doing i was like i should do that and that's why i flew across oh my god we're gonna be the best friends ever so excited. Mm, this is gonna be very entertaining to watch but you could also be our friend and i'm gonna like hold my hand out to damon uh does not understand what you are doing. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Well, like the friends, like, like high five or like pew. pew. I'm just gonna make a ton of gestures at you with my hands, like the Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Eventually I'm fucking seven years old. Eventually, he do does. He doesn't know what it, he kind of has an idea of what a child is. <laughs> Only kind of. You're you're a thick you're a 
new creature. Uh, he does eventually wrap his hand around your uh, yours, and his hand totally engulfs yours, and it it shimmers in like half smoke and half corporeal hand around yours. Like, you're literally grasping smoke, it, which is an impossible task, but in this moment, you're actually able to. So you made the smoke like corp- like a corporeal form <laughs> of sorts. Sure. <laughs> oh, mister, your head feels kind of funny. <laughs> it kind of tickles my hand. All right. Uh... I don't know how to respond to that. Okay. Uh, so what do you two do for fun? What, like, what's there to do? I mean, obviously there's this really cool creek, and there are so many frogs, and so many cool rocks, but like... <laughs> what, what else is there to do? Uh, I, I mostly just like, kind of fly around and just hang about. David and I hang around once in a while, but he likes to keep to himself because he's he thinks he's super cool and stuff. But you know, I don't think it. The others just agree. Wait, there are more of you. Where are some boys? <laughs> more of me? No, there's only one me. I'm the only me that I see. Well, well, I mean, I see two of you right now. You're, you're one and two, and I'm gonna point at Damon and then pick. <laughs> I am not a bird. Break that three. And the frog that's been croaking this whole time from the edge of the <laughs> creek uh, looks it. up at all of you. Uh, Mr. Frog, what's your name? Oh, uh, you can just call me Jim. Jim. Okay, hi Jim. This this is uh this one's not George. He's a funny one. Uh George's name is David. And this is Pick. And they're my new best friends. Okay. Do yeah. we know Jim? Um you know that uh frogs sort of keep to themselves. They're not really conversational. In fact, the fact that this one spoke out of like out of the creek is surprising even to you. Jim owes me twenty dollars. <laughs> I want to hop off of Damon and, and then like kind of walk up to Jim and like kind of go in his face and be like, "Hi, Jim." Hi. Were you were you uh, croaking for some reason or just saying hi? No, I was just clearing my throat. Oh, yeah. I had so something good stuck stuff, in man. it. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? KJ was asking us, and I, I don't have a good answer. Well, I used to like to look into the human world uh, through those crystals, but uh, they're gone now. Uh-oh. And you're gonna, like, see, like, a, a light bulb... <laughs> flash above my head as KJ starts piecing that together. Wait, do you mean the crystals that I just had? Because I had some crystals. I was shaking a rock really, really hard and I saw something inside of it and then it like burst into my hands and like everything fell out and then there were crystals on the ground and then I collected them and then my dad was like, KJ, KJ, are you okay? And I said, yeah, dad, I'm fine. And then these two came out. Are those the crystals that you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, well, we're up now. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, wait, no, I gave you one. Does that work? Uh, uh, and I'm gonna, like, shake it a bunch in my hand and then look at it. And just as you look at it, the rock seems to go from transparent to translucent and fades away slowly, almost going, uh, goes ghostly, and slowly falls into your hand. Uh, I don't think this one works either, Pick. Aw, oh, man. 
Well, there's gotta be somewhere around, probably, right? Jim, do you know if other crystals exist around here? Yeah, there's some. But, um, I don't think the human should touch them anymore. Okay. Yeah, I think that's talking about you, KJ. You're the only human here. It's nothing against you, it's just... Maybe safer with us? I'm gonna, like, look at Pick and look at Jim, and I'm gonna, like, nod. Like, obviously these two aren't human. And then I'm gonna look at Damon, and I'm gonna say, What do you mean you're not a human? I then gesture at my very pointed elf-like ears and features... Uh, bring up my hands, which solidify its normal-looking hands. You see, I do have very pointed claws at the end of them. And then, of course, when as I'm staring at you, uh, my eyes just I blink, and then they go completely jet black, and a bit and smoke begins to billow off of me. And then I reconstitute, and I'm more human yet again. And I'm just like watching. And the realization just doesn't hit me um, that these are all non-human things. And I'm just gonna keep looking at you for a while. You're strange. Normally when people see that, they either react, they react to more than just, oh, I'm gonna stare. Well, you're, you're kind of fun to look at, mister. <laughs> that is right. I am pretty great. You got a big head, too. <laughs> what? Um, so, um, do, are you guys hungry? Do you do you guys want to eat food with me and my dad tonight? Um, well, we- I don't really eat. Just, I don't eat to. Why would I want to eat your dad? No, you're funny. No, you wouldn't be eating my dad. You would be eating with me and my dad. I'm supposed to eat you and your dad. No, again, you're very funny, but no, you wouldn't be <laughs> eating me and my dad. You would be eating with me and my dad. So, like, um, we have a small table, and so I would sit, and then my dad would sit, and then you would sit, and then you would sit, and then, um, Jim, you're also my new friend, so you could come and sit, too. We might have to double up on spaces, because usually only four people can sit at the table, but I think that we could make it work. What what's for dinner? Who am I supposed to eat? Uh, I think you would be eating hot dog chicken nuggets. Um, chicken? Oh, <laughs> I, I can't do that. You, Again, I don't even eat. I was just I was just curious. Oh, what you well, you that would eat? make you, that you would eat? make her an abomination. I can't. <laughs> can't well, you don't have to eat oh. the chicken nuggets. You could just eat the hot dog. What's hot dog made out of again? Um, well, it's not made out of dogs, um, but it's, well, that's, uh, well, that's not it's exciting. like, it's like a pink, like, uh, it's like a worm, and birds like worms, uh, it's like a big worm, uh, and it's in a bud, and, um, sometimes you put ketchup on it, or mustard, uh, I like to put pickles on mine sometimes, uh, well, well what? Can your dad see us too? Um, oh. let's find out. Uh, you guys want to come with me? And I'm gonna like hold out two of my hands to my new friends, and like I will, I will fly and I will like land on their arm. I am not holding hands, but I will follow you. <laughs> and I'm gonna like hold out my hand again to to Jim to see if they would like to uh, attend as well. <clears throat> right. No, I think that's all right. I'll uh stay here. I don't want to see this. Keep living the dream, Jim. <laughs> so I'm gonna like skip up to my home and say, "Dad, Dad, Dad, Dad." And I'll do the same thing. I will start sounding like KJ. <laughs> it's like, "Dad, Dad." <laughs> And I will just kind of stand there, 
waiting for the subtle realization of the thing that David realized a long time ago when the rocks first disappeared. <laughs> uh, your dad comes out of the uh, back door uh, carrying a plate of uh, chicken nuggets and chopped up hot dogs and uh, also carrying a glass of lemonade. And uh, you're standing right there at the edge of the porch and he kind of looks around. Dad. Hmm. Dad, what are you doing? Dad, I'm right here. He puts the food down on a table and goes inside. That was not very nice of him. Why didn't he say anything to me? What the heck? Oh, no. Well. Oh, you didn't realize. It's been a while, okay? I just did uh... You should say it, because I don't think I'll be able to say it without a gigantic smile on my face, Pig. No, I, I don't want to mess it up. You say it, you say it. Just be, be nice. Don't, don't. Well, don't smile. Just say it. Dad. KJ. And KJ. I, and I'll, like, kind of hide behind my, like, my because I'm a little nervous. My wing. <laughs> I thought you realized before you're on our side of the fence now. Your father can't see you. Well, yeah, he's inside. Of course he can't see me. But what do you mean? Wait, we didn't wait, cross wait, any maybe, fences. Maybe it's because I'm on KJ. I want to, like, kind of fly off and I'll, and I'll land on, on Damon again. Try, try calling out to your dad again. Uh, and I will say, Dad! Dad! And I'm gonna go over to the plate of hot dog chicken nugget. And I'm going to grab for hot dog chicken nugget. <laughs> you grab them just fine. You uh, grab your hot dog chicken nugget. And I'm gonna put it in my mouth and eat it. Yeah. It tastes good. And with my mouth full of hot dog chicken nugget, I'm gonna say, Dad! Why are you ignoring me? I want you to be my new friends. Maybe go inside and, and see. Bang it. from inside and oh gosh! I'm gonna run inside. I look at Pick like for someone who's eighteen hundred years old, not very bright or wise. Referencing oh the t the car ride that took eighteen hundred years. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like <laughs> Well yeah, they're so they're so young. I, I thought if you're eighteen thousand years old you're like be a grandpa or something. This was very slow of a draw. I don't okay. Maybe one more try to make them realize that they're in our world and not their own? I, I thought they were just special and could see us, but... Oh, I think they are a little special. I know, I just, I just, I mean, if, if they're on our side now, well, how are they going to get back? Uh, I think Jim knew a bit more, but Sure. Uh, more rocks? <laughs> maybe. Well, we don't we don't know the whole story yet. Maybe maybe they're not on our side. We just we'll yep. figure it out. I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um on the inside of the house, I am rushing to my dad's aid. Uh, Dad, uh, I heard a big noise, and I know earlier I said that there wasn't a big noise, and I hope that you're not trying to trick me, because that wouldn't be very nice. Uh, where are you? Um, you are running through this place that looks as old and, uh, abandoned on the inside as it did on the outside. Uh, you can see some broken glass on the ground next to each of the shattered windows. Um, you get into the kitchen where the sink has uh, 
vines coming in through the window and sort of like nesting there in a pile of dirt. Um, you can s quickly find your dad who's in the living room um, and he's uh, sitting on an old chair looks like an old rocking chair grabbing his foot and rubbing it and uh, next to him you uh, you see uh, a you see three suitcases that have uh, sort of been toppled over um I am going to like climb up onto the chair and say dad why are you ignoring me this isn't very nice um you try to climb up onto your onto the chair back into your dad's lap and as your hand goes out towards him it just passes right through his knee oh my god dad what's going on here and i'm just gonna look up at him dad <laughs> What's going on? Dad! I'm kind of listening at the door. Just like, yeah. Oh, I think I think they're catching on now. Oh. <laughs> Dad, what's going on? Not funny. And I'm going to run back outside uh, and probably see you both listening that and say, what did you two do? What happened? What's going we on? Didn't, we didn't do anything, I promise. You played with rocks and then you got stuck on the other side. I play with rocks all the time, but I don't know what you keep saying other side. What do you mean? I'm I'm here. I'm this is my house. You're not You're here, but you're not here. You're there. Well so when you your your dad can't see you and he can't see us. Humans aren't supposed to see us. I'm gonna, like, squint my eyes at Damon now, realizing that he might not be a human, like he said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this one's finally getting its pick. Am I dead? Yes. Well Looks like it. And I'm just going to freeze. <laughs> you can see sort of uh, hopping onto the uh, porch where you all are standing is Jim the Frog. Um, like I said, I was interested, but I didn't want to see that part. So I'm here now. He hops onto a chair, hops on a table, and sort of like waddles and turns to face the three of you. Um, I'm going to walk over to the plate of hot dog chicken nuggets and I'm just going to like just continuously eat um, until I feel a little less sad. Um, and then with some big puppy dog eyes I'm going to look at Pick and say how do I how do I like not die. How how do I get back to being alive? We'll 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 figure it out. I know you you shouldn't be on our side. We love we we love your company, but you belong on the other side with with your dad. So we'll we'll, we'll figure it away, right, guys? And I'll turn to Damon and Jim. I'm interested to see how this turns out. But you'll help too, right? Sure. You did that thing again where you like look away and you say something and I don't I don't know if I trust you. You are smart. Wait. KJ, how old are you? Uh I'm I'm 7. You said you were 1800. Now you who's the liar? When did I say that? You said, said your trip 18, here was 1,800 years. years of the car. Yeah, I mean, we moved here from, like, Vermont, so, like, it took a really long time, but, like, I didn't, I didn't actually mean that we were in the car for, like, that long. I think it's, um, uh, I heard Dad say this word. I think it's, like, a hyperbole. 
uh, yeah, a hyper bowl. So like me, sometimes I'm hyper and sometimes I like to eat food out of bowls. And then when you put them together, it's like when I say that I was in the car for like 2000 years, but really it was like, I don't know, like a day. I missed having a human around. You're so young. <laughs> Why are you on other side? No wonder you were trying to get me to eat you and your father. You don't know me any better. Why would I want you to eat me? I said with you would sit at the table with I, me. I was confused by that as well. Have you never sat at a table before? We don't eat. But like, what about when you I were don't... alive? Uh, like, oh, oh, I don't like to talk about it. Don't look away. Oh no, I've always been like this. You've, so you woke up and you were just dead from the beginning? Oh, I was never dead. You died. Oh, did you die, or maybe you touched something and then it kind of? Oh, I'm gonna here. above above board. David fully knows that this kid is not dead. He's just trying. He's just trying to freak them out. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Classic. Um. Okay, I guess like now that I'm dead, remember, like what do I don't remember falling in the creek and. It was... Okay, now you're just making things up because I saw exactly what you saw and they did not fall in the creek. I think you touched something and maybe that like messed with your your skin or your whole being and now you're like us. Okay. Don't think you're dead. Okay. The... You, you're still eating and, and, and we don't normally eat. And I think when you say you're still eating, I finish, like, the last of my plate. Um, so the is there a way for me to get back so, like, my dad could see me again? Because that would be, I mean, that would be pretty nice. I mean, you guys are great at all. I like, I love your friendship. It's very nice having friends. But, like, also I love my dad. And also he feeds me. Uh... Jim, do you know? Yes, teach us, great sage. Teach us, Simba. <laughs> okay. What do you want to know? Uh, How do humans get back? Well, you gotta go see the witch. Ugh. Um, when you say witch, do you mean, like, spooky Halloween witch, or do you mean, like, Glinda the Good Witch, or, like, the Wicked Witch, or, like... And I'm just gonna, like, look up at Jim. Or down, I guess. You're actually about eye height with Jim right now, because Jim's <laughs> on the table. Oh, okay. I thought when you said that I'm eye height Jim. that you were telling me that like... this is a three-foot fucking frog. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's on the table. Normal frog. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Has a cousin named Kermit. Uh... <laughs> um, and uh... I'm sorry, he said what? All of them, I guess. Okay, uh, do you guys know where the witch is so we could go and visit them? Uh. You would see. both know vaguely where the witch resides, but you don't really go over that direction. You never had any reason to, and a lot of spirits tend to avoid that place anyway. For, for this world, would the witch be considered an authority figure? Yes. Yeah, I openly groan and a bunch of smoke just comes out of my mouth and through and up above my my uh my lapel. Ugh. So there's a witch, but we don't really cross paths with, with them because well 
They kind of give me the, the heebie-jeebies. I don't like people who think they're in charge. And I, at that, I'm going to, like, kind of pull up my pants a little bit and, like, puff my chest out and say, okay, well, I mean, if you guys don't want to go with me, uh, could you give me directions? Because I don't want to be... No offense, but I don't want to stay like this forever. Like, I want to be able to give my dad hugs. So if you could just point me in the direction and maybe tell me their name. And I don't know, if they like a flower or two, if you could tell me that too. I, You know, I, I like to give people stuff so then they, like, pay attention to me and do nice stuff for me too. Uh, as soon as KJ mentions, like, giving the witch flowers and stuff, I just melt. I'd be like, well, don't, you don't have to go alone. I mean, the, the forest is dangerous. And and you're just seven. You were told us you were 18,000 years old. You little liar. I did not tell you that I was 18,000 years old. I did a hyperbole and you guys just didn't know what, what I meant. So I'm sorry that I fooled you. Okay, we 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 have to avoid being hyper and eating things out of bowls. I get it. Let's let's go. Let's find this witch together, and uh, uh, we'll 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 make sure you you get so you can you can hug your dad again. And I'm going to like hold out my arms uh, and oh. like walk towards Pick. Um, and I'm going to go a little slowly because I don't know them very well, but if they allow me, I'm going to give her a hug. I will, yeah. I will return the hug and I'll be like, Quack. I'm like, kind of. I was about to go, careful, pick the call for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you mean? I've, my, um, uh, I don't have my weapon in my hand. And... I know a grapple when I see one. You don't <laughs> fool me. Is that like a green apple? I've never heard of that before. You've never heard of a green <laughs> apple before? Well, no, I've never heard the, the word grapple, but I, I have eaten somewhere. a green apple before. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing the seven-year-old now. Now this is making sense. You, you have some sort of uh, item that you could use in case you're in danger? Uh, the, yeah, um, and you would see in my back pocket I have a trusty slingshot. I was thinking it's gonna be like a water gun, but this is even better. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna look at Damon and say, wait, okay, so everybody knows that I'm seven, and you guys thought that I was like 1,800,000 years old. How old are you guys? Yes. That's not a number. I don't know very many of them. I can't count that high, but I don't think that yes is a number. Well, I... uh, I've been around since the beginning of all things. And he does that thing where he looks away and says it again. I just, I just lost track. It's just hard to keep Counting, you know? I remember when fire was new. So you're like old, old. Can I call you Grandpa? <laughs> All the smoke begins to billow and his eyes go black again. He gets real close to you. He's like, don't ever call me grandpa oh, do you want a hug too i'm sorry david i didn't realize that you also wanted a hug <laughs> oh oh okay and i'm gonna like put my head into my pockets and look at my feet and like kind of kick oh, dirt around <laughs> got my eye on you kj okay well oh, you know I'm... i can see you too because because of the eyes we talked about that earlier. Uh, so who knows how to get to the witch? I look at the I look at the frog. <laughs> I feel like we all you like you said we all know where the witch resides. We just don't go there. It's the elephant graveyard of our world. <laughs> you must never go there. So <laughs> like an easier way to go than the normal way. No. Okay, uh, I guess we're going the normal way. All right, over the river and through the woods. 
Yup. To the <laughs> witch's house we go. Jib, are you coming with? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> well, what if we need you? You'll be all right. All right, keep okay. living the dream. Keep living the dream, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every single time I see Jim, that's what. <laughs> keep living the dream. Keep on keep it on, Jim. <laughs> he seems like he's got it all figured out. Yeah, that's he's so calm content. Calm and frog on. Just every single time, just like that. That, that frog just really, he's figured it all out. That just. <laughs> You see that stump? That stump really brings that entire room together. <laughs> yup. I am going to turn around um, and start walking towards the house. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I guess I better go and pack a bag. Um, I should probably take some water and my favorite rocks and... Maybe I'll take a green apple and I'll surprise David with a grapple. I think he'd like that. But uh, I think I'm going to use one of my talent slash powers uh, telepathy. And you guys hear this while I'm walking away um, without me, like, you know, saying it to you. And I'm just walking inside. At some point, I think we need to show KJ what a grapple really is, but I think there's plenty of time before we get there. Oh, I, I, I'll, sh I'll show you what a grapple is. No, no, I, I don't want you to do it. I'll do it. I don't, <laughs> you're, you're just going to hurt them, and I don't, they don't deserve that. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. <laughs> cool. So in my knapsack, uh, I have my green apple, I have a water bottle, um, I have some pajamas, um, and I have some climbing gear as well. Some, like, ropes <laughs> and things. Yeah, ropes. Um, look. Oh, are they, like, the bungee cords that were used to, like, tie the stuff into the car? Oh, perfect. Ooh, yeah. Because, you know, I'm seven years old. I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm just kind of grabbing for things um, my, and if... shoving them into my backpack. Yeah, in my head, you legitimately just have the stick with a bandana full of stuff at the end that of it. That's what, I'm imagining. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining. And yeah, then... I'm going to run away forever. I got two things in this bandana. Let's go. Did you grab your toothbrush? Um, my toothbrush and my favorite toy. I would I not say that I grabbed my toothbrush. No. Ugh. I didn't think that far ahead. And I'm going, before I walk outside... Um, I think you can both hear again as I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe if I, like, walk in front of Dad, he'll, like, see my stuff floating, and then he'll be like, oh my god, is KJ invisible? <laughs> and so I walk in front of my dad with my little knapsack. Um, and when you do that, uh, your dad is sort of, like, looking up around at the ceiling and writing stuff down. Dad, what the heck? <laughs> like, like they were always just kind of out of sight. <laughs> it's like he's doing this to be on purpose. What the heck? Uh... And then I walk outside and say, okay, um, I am ready. I got a grapple and some water and my favorite rocks and my trusty slingshot, and I have some cables in case we have to climb anything. Right. Okay, I guess we're off. We're off to see the witch. David, lead the way. <laughs> sure, I was about to start singing, we're off to see the wizard, the wizard of wizard. <laughs> I also was wrong. thinking the that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Easel down, easel down the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, you know, I almost took something that would have made me knowing where the hell I was easier, but I didn't. So, uh, I just start walking in the general direction where I feel the most disdain for authoritative figures. Uh, and as you all follow Damon, 
quite literally over the river and through the woods. Um, Jim still sits there long out of earshot as you disappear between the tree trunks. And we see him go, Oh, I probably should have told him what she likes. And I think that is where we are going to take a quick break before we switch scenes. Hell yeah, friends. Stick around. We'll be back. Uh, put us in Put in the chat what do you think the witch likes. Uh, and we'll read them off and, and giggle about them when we get back. Bye! What children? Apples? Children. Oh, God. No! <laughs> Apples! All right. We're taking a fiver. Bye-bye. Howdy, friends, and welcome back. We are so excited and happy to have you here with our playtest of Sagas, an amazing TTRPG made by our GM for the evening, Dennis. Um, we are halfway through our adventure, um, and we're actually going to do a character recap, uh, starting by my character, KJ, the seven-year-old. Um, so the thing is that me and my dad were in the car for like 1800 years, and then we finally got to our house, and my dad was like, I'm gonna go inside, and I'm gonna like start putting stuff away, but I was like, I see a creek, and I bet that there are gonna be really cool frogs, and really cool rocks, and so I went over there, and I, I found this really cool rock, and there was something shiny inside, so I started shaking it really, really loud, and then it broke, um, and then I met this guy who said his name was George, but he was like, his name is actually David, um, and he has like scary long fingernails and kind of pointy ears, and sometimes his his eyes go black. But then I also have this cool bird friend, um, and her name is Pick, uh, and she could hug me with her wings. Um, and then we have a gym friend. Uh, he's a frog. Uh, he's a regular sized frog, but sometimes he's like at my height. Um, and we learned the word grapple, but we don't know what it means. And we also learned the word hyperbole. And my dad gave me hot dog chicken nuggets. And my dad also can't see me because I kind of turned into a ghost dead person thing. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to go to the witch to make me turn back into being a human. David keeps saying that I'm on a different side of the fence, but I didn't climb over any fences. I'm not the best climber, and that's why I have climbing ropes in my backpack. And nobody joined in to say anything, so oh, I guess oh, that's you the You never journey. stopped! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, you, you told us you were 1800 years old, but you turned out you're actually only seven. And then you, you introduced us to Hyper and Bowl. I don't know what that's, I still don't understand what that is, but uh, yeah, Hyper Bowl. And we've never seen the witch, so now we're on an adventure together. David mm. likes to lie. We told him it's a bad thing to do, but he still, he, he, he likes to do it. So we gotta work, we gotta look out for that. I've never really met Jim. Jim was really cool. Um, and he seems really smart for a, for a frog. I feel like I wish he. Whoa! He, <laughs> Whoa! No, take I, it down, no, I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> I've never really interacted with frogs, so I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. And then he he came off knowing so much about everything. I really wish that he was with us on this adventure, actually. But he chose to stay behind. Hopefully we also we've also established that KJ is also a liar because they lied about their age. Claim it to be 1800. Well, David, you, you can't really point out because you lie in general, so like, that would make you a hypocrite. You don't know me. Enough. Eh, I've never met you before in my life. Anyways, uh, it's a good thing that KJ can still eat the hot dog and chicken nuggets, but he can still eat. I think the kid still thinks, thinks the dad. We're gonna <laughs> fix this so you can hug your dad again. Thanks, guys. Yes, grappling your father. <laughs> grappling your father. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna give my dad the green apple. I, I thought that maybe I would eat it on the way to the witch, but... At this point, I guess we're just traveling. <laughs> you are, you have gone uh, pretty deep into the woods at this point. Um, there isn't really a path. The underbrush is getting pretty thick and KJ is having to struggle. Um, but Damon leading the way, 
easily just sort of like pushes everything aside but sometimes he just like turns mostly into smoke and wafts through a bush and kj has to like go all the way around yes is there a way for so i have wind control wind is there a way to like blow any like foliage or bushes like to the like oh yeah part yeah. so kj can kind of walk through without having to like go the extra mile so kj you come to you come to another set of bushes that damon just sort of like phased through as smoke um and you're not seeing a good way around this time you're gonna have to like dig your way through um i think actually before that i would be like well i mean if i'm like you guys now i could also do that right i could just walk through stuff i mean my head went right through like my dad's rocking chair so i could i could do it right. and i'm it gonna like it. rock back and forth a little and then <sighs> And I'm just gonna like try to like run through the bush. <laughs> Make me a run through the bush check. Cool. Oh, like, <laughs> looking behind my wings, like I don't know if it's gonna work. I rolled an eight. Uh, being a rollo system, uh, an eight is not too great. Uh, <laughs> And as you uh, just squint your eyes shut as tight as you can and you sprint forward, immediately you get caught up inside this bush. Your feet have been lifted off the ground and the um, you picked the wrong bush to do this to. Uh, there's some something with thorns in here and it's like poking into you and tearing into your clothes and it's literally holding you off the ground and you can't you can't move oh guys um i i may have done something a little silly uh can i have some help here oh my god i'll help you and i will i will try to like clap my wings together to kind of like put some wind to uh like give give KJ some like some room to breathe and maybe kind of get out of the snags. All right, um, go ahead and make an. I don't know. Control wind doesn't have an attack roll, at least not in this version, does it? it doesn't say. Um... I don't think it does, but I want to check and make sure I'm doing it right. I wrote the game. I don't have it memorized. <laughs> That's right. Classic mistake. No. <laughs> oh no. You create a localized gust of wind in melee of you. The wind is strong enough to move small creatures and objects to an adjacent zone. You just get to do it. <laughs> For okay. free. So as um so as your wings beat together once twice three times um you're sort of hovering there and you can see the air begin to shift as leaves and sticks get blown everywhere and kj you are lifted gently out of the bushes over them and set down on the other side and the wind quickly dies down did you guys see that? For a second, I was like kind of flying. I was just pulling a little you pick. It was pretty cool. Thanks for helping me out of there. I was uh... I'm like, I will. There's like, there's gonna be like debris in your hair, and I'll like take them out with my beak, and I'll kind of pocket a couple for why <laughs> <laughs> for a nest later. <laughs> Confirmed. Pick has pockets built in. Well, no, I have my little yeah, leather pouch. That is, that is like a satchel. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Pickpocket. Uh, <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Damon watches all of this gleefully. Kind of, uh, he's a little ways up a tree, but like, like on a branch, he's like fully Spider Man. The, like knees kind of tucked, looking with his hands crossed, with his hands crossed, hands and his elbows on his knees, just kind of on the side of a tree. 
I can do this. I have cl- I have a I, that's one of my abilities is I could just walk on walk on different surfaces like they're ver- like they're uh, vertical. <laughs> it's one of the weird things I chose this character to be able to do. Uh, so why Amazing. could you guys walk through things but I can't? You haven't been a ghost long enough, child. Maybe you just gotta practice it and eventually you'll be able to do it. But do you want do you want to be able to do it? Because the whole point is for you to kind of get out of this, right? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to be able to do it forever, but it would be kind of nice because, like, David just walks through it instead of making a path for me. And sometimes I have to go really far out of the way. And then I, my legs are kind of tired already. I know we haven't been going very far, but I was sitting for like 18 years in the car with my dad. And so my legs are sore and, it, you know, it would just be, it would be cool if I could also just like walk through the bushes. We can, we can take breaks. We don't have to go like non stops. Do we? I could throw you over the bushes. That could be fun. Can you, can you carry KJ, David? Uh, and I'm just going to oh wait no you're in a tree I'm not going to jump up into your arms just kidding climb up the tree be like I I I fully ring girl up the (laughs) terrifying (laughs) actually guys it's been so much fun I'm gonna go home See you later. <laughs> I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> just the smoke starts billowing, and I just go. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, I I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> um, uh, I suppose I could. What's in it for me? Um, do you like head scratches? No. Do you like? Tickle fights? <laughs> oh, what, oh, what now? Uh, tickle fights? I understand the word fight. What is the other word you are using? Uh, and I'm... Are you on the ground or are you still in the tree? I'm still in the tree. Well, I could... <laughs> uh, tickle. Uh, I can hey, show you... Come you... back here so KJ could show you. I don't think it works that distance, right, KJ? Yeah, uh, Pick is right. Also, you can't carry me if you're up there and I'm down here, so... When they look at each other, I'd like to stealth over there and just kind of appear. (laughs) Uh, you two, both of you, just, uh, actually go ahead, go ahead and make a check first, Damon. See how well this goes. (laughs) Ah, (laughs) on my D8, I rolled an 8. So you try <laughs> your damnedest to <laughs> stealth down the tree when nobody's looking, um, but you actually, <laughs> you sort of like trip as you're going along the branch and your knee catches on one and you just fall to the ground spinning and land on your back. Wham! Um, I would like to say that I see that and I like run around with my hands like out like I'm going to catch you and then end up like five feet away from where you land and go, oops. <laughs> I'm so- like, fl- I'm flat on my back for a while and you just see the, the smoke kind of billow up and, and, I, and suddenly I'm standing up just brushing myself off. <laughs> How long would you say you're on the ground though? I would not allow myself to be in that embarrassing state for any map for any longer than I'm able to be there. Like as soon as I'm okay. able to get up, I do it immediately. Okay. As soon as you're up, you see KJ just like full on rushing you and then like at your gut like tickle fight, this is the tickle fight. Uh, I have martial arts. <laughs> no. Seven. Please, they're not eighteen hundred years old. We established this. No. Did I just uh, say? So, what are you trying to do with your martial arts? <laughs> you grappling seven-year-old? I don't. I don't hurt 
I don't hurt KJ, but when I just see rushing forward hands out, I naturally just kind of get my hand underneath their shoulder and and guide them to the ground. Just kind of like I don't okay. throw them. It's kind of like a nope, and I just kind of put them on the ground so I don't allow them to hit, uh, what I perceive as them attacking me suddenly. Um, okay, so there are definitely rules for this. Um, I'm going to have Damon make a attack uh, an attack roll using martial arts against KJ. So and KJ, it, you need to make an avoid check. It did not give me a die for this. It just said uh, your appendages count as common weapons for the purpose of attacks. So, so I wasn't sure what died. So D10, because I don't actually have one. Uh, this would be a D10. Normally, if you're trying to, like, punch something without a weapon and you don't have martial arts, you'd have to use a D12. Okay. And this would be contested against whatever KJ rolled. I rolled a six. Nine. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so you are used to fighting people and spirits that are about your size. And so as you go to uh, knock KJ's hands out of the way, your uh, arm swings short and instead just waves in front of their face and KJ collides with your midsection and fingers wiggling constantly. And now I have to ask, uh, because there's only one person that can answer this question, is Damon ticklish? No. Come on. He is not. Damn. He is not I thought you were going to do high or low. Come on. He's not ticklish. Damn. He doesn't understand this sensation. <laughs> he he Can doesn't you roll know what it is. Roll for tickle, please. Like if he's ticklish or not. Roll for tickle. Roll for tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chat. Roll for tickle. Roll for tickle. <laughs> not fair. <laughs> If he's never experienced being tickled, how would he know if he's ticklish or not? If I get over 51 with this percentage die, he'll be ticklish. Yes. 22. Damn. Uh, oh. Lame. What are you doing? What are you do Like, he's freaking out, though. He's like, what is this? What are you doing? What, what, what kind of attack is this? How, where did all these one-ups come from? Get off of me. Um, okay, well, so I guess maybe... Maybe ghosts just are ticklish, um, but sometimes when my dad and I have a tickle fight, like, I do that to him and he just laughs until he farts sometimes. <laughs> we don't do a lot of tickle fights because his farts get kind of smelly. <laughs> Damon does another <laughs> weird thing where he, like, kind of, like, when the Grinch is sneaking, like just using his finger and fingers and toes, he kind of does that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looked like, like just now that you were like tickling the ground, maybe the air too. Oh, well, okay, was, cool. That was him scurrying away. He was just scurrying <laughs> away. Um, I I feel pretty good actually. Um, but I I would be opposed to David still carrying me. Uh, you did get your tickle fight. A deal is a deal. Uh, right. I grab you by the scruff and just kind of <laughs> put you on the put you on my shoulder, which kind of like gets a bit bigger to accommodate you, like some smoke billows, and suddenly I'm just a little bit broader. I love it. And with KJ on Damon's shoulder and Pick flying alongside. You continue deeper and deeper into the woods in the direction that you know not to travel. Mm -hmm. The woods, the trees get thicker and darker. The branches overhead, you would expect there to be more leaves on them, but the trees, as you go deeper into these woods, become more sickly and increasingly dark. The sky above is almost like twilight on a cloudy day as uh, light begins to be almost smothered deeper into this forested space. Without 
too much difficulty, you come across a stone path. And after following it for maybe a minute, in the distance you can see a small cottage. The forest now has gone fully from a happy and vibrant green place to a sickly bog. Little pools of brackish water line each side of this path. The trees are now sparse. You can see murders of crows hanging out in each one. This is undoubtedly the witch's hobble. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. In um, your ear, you hear uh, KJ go, this is sub. This is like a scary movie, and I don't- I'm actually not allowed to watch scary movies. Uh, Dad says that I'm too young. No, no, everything will be fine, everything will be fine. Okay, uh, so, what's a movie? Uh, a movie is, um, well, uh, okay, so you sit on your couch, and then you look at, uh, the TV, and on the TV, when you turn it on, instead of being black, um, the TV shows you, like, people doing fun things, but sometimes it's animated, uh, and, like, Pokemon will be fighting each other, but there is a Pokemon movie. Um, I don't know, my favorite movie, um, I think is Lilo and Stitch. Uh, I think that Stitch is really cute. Um, what was the question? I didn't get anything out of what you said. But it sounds fun. Uh, it's very fun. Maybe when we get back from the witch's house, uh, we can watch a movie. Lord. Cool. You're so friendly, it's almost sickening. Who said that? That a damn crow. <laughs> you... Yeah, no. I'm down here! And you look down and you can see, uh, sort of hanging out Mostly underneath this muddy, muddy, dark water is a toad. You look like our friend Jim, but you don't sound like our friend Jim. Jim? I hate that guy. Well, what? No, why, why would you hate that guy? He's a really nice guy. He's so annoying. He won't stop talking. He actually doesn't talk a lot. He, I wish he talked more. He's very, very... Kind of keeps to himself, unless you ask him a question, and then he, he like kind of says stuff. But it's he's nice. You he the thinks he man. knows everything. Well, <laughs> he is smart. Well, what do you know? More. Okay. Well, do you want to tell us more? We're looking for the witch. Well, you found her. Are you the witch? And the frog well, takes a muddy slimy hand and points towards the cottage. Oh. Wait, what's your name? James. <laughs> James, you're not very nice. But you can I still change. Um, you know, you remind you me a lot of Jim. One, because you're you? both like frogs, and two, you I'm also... not a frog! Well, you talk a lot, just like Jim. This is so... obviously a toad. Wait, James, do you have Thank a nickname? You. No. Oh. Okay, well, uh, thanks, Mr. Toad, for all your help. I hope you get nice. This does the witch. Do you think the witch could help us? Probably. Is the witch gonna eat the kid? Well, do you need to eat the kid? What? What do you mean, probably? Well, well, we don't. Can we? Can we make it so the witch doesn't eat eat any of us? I like that option. Probably. So far, you said you know more than Jim, and you've only said probably. So I don't know if you do know more than Jim. I mean, statistically, I've been right every time. 
I mean, statistically speaking, saying probably all the time, I mean, it probably will, it probably won't. It, I think this, this guy's got it figured out. This guy's got it all figured out. You <laughs> I think like that this guy. This every guy's got it figured out. has it all figured out. This guy's got it figured out. I like this guy. <laughs> well, this guy's got it figured out. Um, okay. Ah. Well, uh, can we go and talk to the witch now? Well, you think I could stop you if I wanted to? Hey, Probably. Keep, hey, keep, well, keep oh. living the dream, James. <laughs> Just keep living the dream, and then I'm going to pat Damon on the shoulder and say, that's what we tell our frog friends, right? I'm not a frog! Uh, but- Sorry, Toad. amphibian, amphibian. Toad. Toad. Okay, bye, Mr. Toad. Oh, come on, he's a... Come on, he's a lot more <laughs> muscular than Jim. It's a toad. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot. Look, look at those legs. Jim didn't have those legs. That's a good pump right there. James, <laughs> <a> Jim. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to hop off Damon's uh, shoulder and just walk over and knock on the witch's door. Oh, I was mm. literally going to ask um, uh, James how to approach, but I guess we could knock on the door. Did KJ also take the arrogant struggle? Uh, <laughs> no, but they oh. are naive, chatterbox, okay. and impulsive theft. Okay, yeah. Oh. I, took, <laughs> I took arrogant where I literally cannot think that anything bad will happen to me. <laughs> I too have impulsive theft, that's funny. But also, uh, this is probably going to come into play. Anarchist, uh, I physically have to roll to do what people tell me to do. Okay. I physically <laughs> I physically cannot not, I don't tell me what to do. I will probably just do the opposite. So we gotta reverse psychology you. Probably. Oh my god, I hate that word already. <laughs> James, what have you done? <laughs> that guy's gotta dig it out. So I'm as, knocking. As KJ knocks on the door, um, it the door itself feels cold under your knuckles, which is weird because this bog feels unnaturally warm and humid. Um, you hear inside, One moment! Okay, no worries. Take your time. <laughs> you hear several locks and latches unclicking. I'll be perched on uh, KJ's shoulder at this point. I'm gonna like look up to pick and say this this person sure has a lot of locks on their door. Maybe either she's for protecting something. What is she, hourly? Wait, do you think she has something really valuable at her house? My eyes are going to get really wide. Me too. But we won't say do. anything about it. <laughs> All right. uh, you can see a tiny little eye slot in the top of the door open. And two eyes, bright like acid green eyes, look out. Who's there? Um, hi. Uh, my name is KJ. And okay. the what? I don't. Hang on. One second. <laughs> Closes the eye hatch. Another couple latches. <laughs> <laughs> and one way lower down in the door opens up. KJ, what I'm, do you want? I'm going to squat down so I'm at like eye level with the witch and say, uh, I'm KJ. And this is my friend Pick. And then we also have my friend Damon. And oh, also, I would, James I would like is over there. Stealth. I would like to have stealth and tried to disappear so no one saw me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead and make that check. One. Perfect. You just become smoke. And, uh, and now it's almost perfectly melded into this uh, bubbling bog. It looks like you are the fumes coming out of this uh, swamp. And um, the witch says, Huh? What was that? Um, 
I think that she would hear me thinking, well, I mean, David was here, but now he's not here. He's such a funny guy. I don't... I just... What a guy. I don't know about him. Um, and then she hears me say, uh, so I'm KJ, and I told you about my friends, and we were told that you might be able to help us. Um, and then I'm gonna, like, just, like, sweetly smile, but then, like, awkwardly smile as well. Do we have the right address? We heard that you are THE witch. You heard right. What's your name? One second. Close huh? the, That's the a weird door. name. I've never heard that one before. One second. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> First name one, last name second. <laughs> Hang on! Do you think Another that's their hours. last name? <laughs> One second, hey god, that's a long on. name. O S H O. And the door Gosh. opens into, in towards the cottage. And this two foot tall humanoid, uh, you're pretty sure they're human-ish? but has almost every other quality of a very warty toad. Um, you can see uh, she's wearing about five or six different necklaces, all made of different kinds of beads and feathers and bones. Um, you can see uh, same thing on both of her arms. She just doesn't have sleeves on, but you wouldn't be able to tell at first glance because that's how coated her thin arms are in bracelets and bracers. Um, you can see a raggedy sort of cloak that looks like it used to be nice at one point with gold embroidery in the edges. And uh, she looks up at you, KJ. Ha! Huh. A human. Uh. Oh yeah, you're gonna need my help then, aren't you? Uh. <laughs> you're gonna need my help. And I'm gonna kind of like look around and say, "Uh, yeah, I got. Uh, that's that is why we're here. We were told that you could help. Also, I like your bracelets. Hmm. I see you are." Skilled in the ways of flattery. And I'm gonna, like, I don't know what that word means, um, so I'm just gonna, like, look back and then slowly nod. Hmm. Come, child. Come inside. Come inside. Okay, but can my friends also... Can my friends come, too? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. I, you say oh. friends, but I'm only seeing one. I'm already inside. <laughs> ah! I'm going through all their stuff. <laughs> Don't do that. Get get out of there. Get get your get get. And uh, the witch takes a uh, like a small hand broom and starts waving it at your smoke, and it just like gets like slowly blown away. I cor I kind of. I recorporealize and I'm right back. I'm like ring girling against the wall. <laughs> hmm. Yes, come in, come in, come in. I, I just made some tea. Oh, uh, well, I'm actually really full because my dad made me hot dog chicken nuggets. Uh, but thank you. Um, Thinking of actual ah. hot dog chicken nuggets is so gross in my mind. <laughs> I like you already. Hot dog chicken nuggets is one of my old favorites. Isn't it the best? Isn't it? You could put so many different things on hot dogs and you could dip so many different dips of chicken nuggets. It's so good. What's yeah. your favorite? Oh, frog's eyes. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> that, um, I haven't had frog's eyes yet, but that sure sounds good. Yum, yum. Oh, you gotta try it. <laughs> Here, I'll make you some. Oh, give, well, just give me a second. No, no, no. Um, uh, 
shoot, what was your name? One minute, one moment. It's okay. You don't have to do that. Um, one minute, hang on. One minute, hang on. It's okay. You don't have to do that because I, I just got done eating the hot dog chicken nuggets like two minutes ago. Uh, so I'm okay. Oh. But I really appreciate it. I you're you're so kind. Yeah. You're welcome. Maybe some other time I could come back and we could have hot dog chicken nugget uh frog eye dip. Yeah, maybe. Oh you sound sad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's okay, I just I just haven't had guests in a long time. Oh, well, we're not going anywhere yet. I mean, we're here hey, still. You want people to come see you? Uh, want is a strong word. You don't mind it? Yeah, I guess I guess it's all right. Oh boy, don't do that. Everyone has the wrong idea of you. I'm sorry. Everyone's super afraid of you. Huh. That's weird. Well, well she, does she actually smile like that? She does smile <laughs> like that. Well, we could um, tell everybody about how fun and cool and yeah, we'll uh, how good of a cook you the, are. Spread the word that you're actually you're like kind of fun to be around and you're really, really kind. We oh, you welcome us to your home. You're so nice. Um. So, um, speaking of um, nice, um, I'm sorry, David, were you going to say something? So about getting the help and KJ get back to where they're from. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I was going to ask if you could help my friend. Uh. Oh. Huh. So the thing that had happened was, um, I... Uh, found this really cool rock that had some like shiny crystals in it and I shook it really hard and then I picked up all the crystals when they fell out and then I put them into my pocket um, and now I'm like this and my dad can't see me and he can't hear me uh, or he's just playing a really really mean prank on me but I think I think it's not that one I think it's the first one for sure well, let me let me do some let me do some tests and uh, the witch reaches out towards you and like, smears some dirt across your cheek just once. Um, hmm. Grabs your hand, looks at it closely. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yanks a hair out of your head. Oh, that really walks hurt. Walks over to... Doesn't even respond. Walks over to a uh, small cauldron and just throws it in and starts spinning. Stirring it. Now you can never leave. <laughs> oh. Indeed, you are a human. And you're on the wrong side. I just don't know why what you guys keep saying that? that I'm on the wrong side, because I never climbed over any fences. You well. ran a test just to learn that. We could have we we already knew that. We didn't run any tests. You'd be surprised how many people lie in these parts. I look at Damon. Same. I look, <laughs> I, I look out the window. <laughs> uh, I don't lie. Even I could have told you that KJ is on the wrong side. But you do what you gotta do. Well, there are a couple ways that you could get back, dearie. Uh, there's, uh... Hmm, no, that one hurts. Um, oh, no, I've seen many people die trying to do that one. Uh, could we not do uh, any of those that one are going to hurt or two that kill me dead permanently? Hmm. Well, that really narrows down the options. <laughs> I'm okay with that, I think. I think Daryl just sneezed so hard his camera broke. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I I hit my uh I hit something on my desk and it turned off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well that really only leaves one option. Okay, I'll do it. Really? Wait, no, 
Oh, you have a what the option is. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna get hurt and I'm not gonna die, so. I still think it's important to hear what it is before you just say. Okay, yes. hang on, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I might have lied. Can I hear what it is first? Well, you see, the thing about witches is there's no take backsies. I knew there was a part I was forgetting to say. But your name is literally Hang on, wait a minute. That's like one second, hang on. <laughs> one second, hang on. I'm sorry. I think it's that okay. David said that I fell and hit my head, and that's how I ended up here. And sometimes my my thoughts are a little funny. Did I say oh, that? I have funny thoughts all the time. You're just as normal as I am. Oh, that's not very reassuring. Are you telling me that your 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 nor normalcy is the is at the the level of a seven year old? Oh, a seven year old what? Seven year old told toad is different than a seven year old bird. Seven year old human. Ah. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And I'm gonna give the witch a high five. <laughs> or I guess not up, it would be down. <laughs> oh, I forgot the witch is <laughs> uh, She just ignores you. And I'm gonna like save it for later by putting my hand in one my second, pocket. One second, hang on, one second, hang on. <laughs> what is this condition? Or what is this way or option for, for KG to take? Oh, well, well, it's already started. Well, how do we continue it? Well, you met, you met James when, um, when you came in, yeah? The uh -huh. nice frog out front. Well, I yeah, don't know that, if he was yeah, that nice. Guy was, that no, guy's really, he's got it all figured out. Yes, that guy's a toad. He was so... He's a, yeah, he's a toad. He didn't like being called a frog. Oh, you're right. He is, he is a toad. Actually, that's very important. Well... Because all you have to do is get eaten by a toad, and you'll turn back into a human. Um, I think I'm a little bit too big to be eaten by a toad, don't you think? Well, it depends on the toad. Uh. Well, if 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 KJ gets eaten by a toad, well, I you feel a rumbling like giant footsteps in in throughout the house you can see the vials of liquid that line the walls start to uh, rattle against each other there's a giant toad outside isn't there are there windows in this in this cottage yeah there's a window I will like fly over to the closest window and like peer out and you see trees getting knocked over in the distance. Another one falls over to the other side. Well, you see, James out there has an older brother. What's his he name? He goes by the name <laughs> Jimmy. Okay. Jim, James, and Jimmy. I feel like these are are they all secretly late night late night hosts? <laughs> yeah, but James's show is the best. I really like Told Stool karaoke. <laughs> I don't too good. Uh, the windows rattle now as you see a shadow. <laughs> loom over the building and then you see the uh, a form between the last two trees leap into the air for a moment <laughs> and then right in front of the window <laughs> a huge splatter of mud gets thrown up against it and you cannot see what's outside um one second hey god um do you think maybe uh, I could, like, not get eaten by the frog? What if I told the frog a funny joke and then you said, Okay, I'll help you. Well, uh, 
I've actually... It's very important. <laughs> How do I put this? You turned back into a human the moment you set foot in my hut. That's a part of the magic. And I'm gonna like go and start touching things to see if my hands go through them like at my house. Physical touch on every single one. Um, okay, so you mean I can just like go then and not get eaten by a frog? No, no, that's not what I said at all. You see, Jimmy really, really likes humans. He thinks they're delicious. You know, I think I'm starting to understand why people think that you're a mean witch. Whoa, well, I'm I'm just taking care of my friend Jimmy. Okay, well, what about I thought we were friends now too. Oh, who told you that? No one ever said that. Come on. Wait, man. so we're not friends. We're Kate, gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight. We're gonna I have to fight. We were, we were becoming friends because I, we were literally about to spread the word that you actually like people, like everyone's company, and you, you even said you get, you wished more people came to see you. So that she could feed them to the toad, Jimmy, pick. You lied to us. Um, you're not my friend, and your land smells gross. And with that, I'm going to take out my slingshot, and I am going to slingshot her in the eye with a pebble. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, make an attack roll. Do, 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 do. I rolled a two. That is an excellent roll. As you, uh, with a deft and practiced hand, you aim the slingshot right towards her eye, and it passes right through her head. Poof, her head just turns into smoke and steam. Poof, and she's, you can hear her laughter from a distance. Now he gets to have fun and play with his food. <laughs> and the rest of her body merges into nothing, into etherealness. And shortly following that is the entire building around you just vanishing. Uh oh, I was going to three of you <laughs> look up into the bug, toad eyed face of Jimmy, who has eyes pointing in opposite directions and staring down, sort of. <laughs> and we're going to enter a uh, chase sequence. So how this is going to work is I'm going to call on each of you at random, um, and you are going to tell me what you are going to do to get out of this swamp, through these woods, away from Jimmy, and to help your group uh, managed to get out of Jimmy's grasp. So, with that, I'm going to say, most importantly, Damon, what are you doing? Because I'm curious if you're actually helping. I'm stuck here, too. <laughs> In my mind, a giant toad has now been here. And also, I was just... I, she said we had to do... We had to be eaten by a toad. I'm not going to be eaten by a toad. I'm an anarchist. No one tells me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Out of spite. And so what you both see is the smoke begins to billow yet again around Damon. And he's no longer in a human form. Instead, he looks like a very large, black, shadowy fox with nine tails waving around him with smoke, with smoke whiffs. Uh, blazing behind him. Uh, because he's secretly a shadow fox spirit. That's why he lies so much. <laughs> um, and like a fox with their pup, I grab KJ by the scruff in my mouth and I take off. <laughs> All right. 
go ahead and uh, make a check. Um, what die am I rolling? This, this uh, depends on what you're using from your character sheet. This can be um, your transformation. This oh, can be wait, a strengthy wait. thing for carrying KJ. Well, here's how far can I see into the distance? Um, pretty far. Right now, the trees are uh, pretty sparse. Hmm. Then I'm going to grab. If you'll allow it, I will grab KJ in my mouth and wrap a tail around Hick. And then I'll look into the distance and I'll use minor teleport to teleport as far away into as far as I can see. It says once oh. per Yeah, once per rest, you can use your combat action to teleport to an adjacent zone you can see without making a check. Um, I'm pretty sure. Minor teleport only affects you, but oh, okay. this is the last time that we are, uh, that I think this version will ever be played because it's constantly getting updated. And I am of the opinion that what you want to do is cooler. So yes, you can use your minor teleport and take all of your party with you and just bamf, like, 30 feet forwards poof, and begin running on all fours yeah. across the stone path as the frog leaps from behind you and wham lands right behind you. All right, pick, what are you doing? Well, um, before um, Damon gets to me, can I, can I fly up to the witch and like, I took the little, like, some of the branches, not branches, like, twigs off of uh, KJ's hair earlier on. Can I, like, take my beak and, like, ram the, the twig into her eye? Like, with my beak. <laughs> Wait, like, into whose fork, eye? Into the witch's eye. The witch oh, the is witch gone. is gone. Yeah, the witch disappeared. The witch the disappeared house. when KJ attacked her. <gasps> Gasp! I didn't realize that. Um, the frog's definitely still there. Jimmy's okay, I'll ram into the frog's eye. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so you grab one of the twigs and fly up, and the next time Jimmy lands with a crack in the path, uh, you you just jam this twig into his eye. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Um, 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 is that a d10? Um, I think because you are not this twig is not considered a weapon for you this is going to be a d12 that is a five uh and with a five you jam that twig right into the frog's eye and it lets out this bellowing croak <laughs> The trees around just rattle with the vibration of its throat, and all of you continue sprinting away from it. It seems to be wriggling around in pain, unable to get rid of this feel, this, this twig stuck in its eye. You've bought the group some time. KJ, what are you doing? Okay, I am um, kind of crawling onto Damon's back. Um, sitting backwards and just getting my slingshot ready to go into the frog's other eye. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna Make roll my attack roll. Duh. Or Jimmy. I just look. Just the idea. Of just me. Just that Lion King <laughs> run in slow motion in my head. That's what's happening. Um. I rolled. A seven, and I want to know if that hits or not before deciding to use my lucky or not. That does not hit. Okay, I'm gonna reroll. Okay, I rolled an eleven this time. Fudge. Ooh. Um, so there is in the coolest thing about sagas is this thing called effort. Um, and in this version, you can. There are three main ways you can use it. 
the, uh, the two you can use right now are uh, to boost your own roll, where you spend all three of your effort points and give yourself another die on the check. Um, or you can spend all three of your effort points to combo with someone else, which gives them another die and another damage if they hit with an attack on that roll. Um, I would like to use all three of my energies just to have another die. Please. All right, go ahead. Mark all right. off all three of your effort points. All right, I am one more time. going to take out my most favorite green shiny rock and I'm going to give it a little kiss uh, before oh. putting it into the slingshot. And I rolled a fucking wand. Amazing. As this rock gets fired from the slingshot, it transforms into this uh, almost like a jade statue of a bird that flies through the air and just rams right into the frog's nose, just poof, and <laughs> this is in midair and the frog just gets taken backwards and lands on its back. <laughs> You've bought them some more time and all of you have now made it to the, made it out of the swamp and back into the forest with all the underbrush. Um, with Damon still running, KJ on the back, and Pick shortly behind. So, Pick, what are you doing to get the group through this forest? Um, um I will, I will try to create um, like blockage by like flapping my wings to control the wind, so I can uh, maybe put push some trees or like some branches off, so it blocks the way. Okay, um, go ahead and roll a check for that. 28. A two. Haha, <laughs> you find a, a particularly old and uh, rickety tree, sort of a widowmaker tree that is leaning on another one and meant to fall over, and you just, with one well-aimed gust, you knock it loose and the tree just collapses onto the ground, blocking the path behind you. Another success. Damon, what are you doing now? Uh, let's see. Well, since I do have martial arts and my entire body is a weapon, I use one of my tails to also bring down trees to block the path behind us. Uh, so one of your tails just lashes it. out at a nearby trunk. Yes, and it was Go a ahead, D. Make that attack roll. It was a D ten, correct? With yes. martial arts, cool. Giant die. Eight. Um, you, I will... your tails are lashing out and cutting off branch after branch after branch, but they're not making anything. Uh, I will spend, any... I will spend two of my effort to make that a six. If... No, that's not, that's oh, not that's quite not... how effort works. Okay, you need to spend all three, oh, all three to, uh, give yourself another die on the check. I will spend all three to do that then. All right. So go ahead and make another roll. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are trees. Yes. Um, that is that is still a failure, though. Uh, but because you failed, you do get an effort point back. Uh, on every failed check, you gain an effort point. Um the trees behind you are or the trees on either side of you are stronger now you, you thought they were you were still in the sick part of the forest but these are healthy trees that are resistant to anything that you're able to throw at them while you're running at least um, a couple branches come down but jimmy appears to be gaining again another <laughs> as he lands behind you uh, and KJ, what are you doing to help get through this forest or slow Jimmy down? Um, I am going to take my climbing cables and I am going to tie them all together um, and say, 
Uh, David, could you, uh, go over to this tree real quick and then go over to that tree real quick so I could make, like, a tripwire? Sure. <laughs> I jump from tree <laughs> to tree. I just kind of full-blown Naruto jump, stick to a tree, and then leap to another one. <laughs> um, if you'd like, you can use that one effort point you just got back to help. That is yes. the other way you can spend effort. It costs will... one effort to add a die to an ally's check. I will do that. So then I get to roll it twice and take the better? You get to roll it twice and take the lower one, like advantage. Okay, I rolled a six and then a five. That is a success. You managed to wrap these uh, trip wires, which is really just the... Uh, bungee cords uh, <laughs> that you've just hooked all together and uh, you hold one of them against the tree and it catches on the bark as uh, Damon flies around this tree and then leaps to the other one and you hook that one on as well and then just keep going uh, very quietly speeding through this underbrush and from behind you see the frog Jimmy land right in front of it Sorry, the toad, Jimmy. Very important distinction. Um, <laughs> Don't respect him. He's trying to eat us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he lands right uh, in front of the tripwire, and on his next leap, one of his legs catches, and it pulls him like, Aah! and then it pulls him right back to where he was, and he slams uh, backwards into the muck. That is a, another success. And with that... <clears throat> you can see that Jimmy has given up. He gets pulled backwards back into the forest, and you can see uh, Jimmy turning around in one direction, and you continue running the other way while you can see the broken down old paint peeling house in the distance. You guys, we did it. That was a close one though. That was, that was really was close. Um, but nobody got eaten by a big frog. Toad. Nobody tells me what to do. And nobody <laughs> tells you what to do. But if you could uh, either let me down or keep going, that would be really cool. Uh, I'll stop if we need, if we can, or really like if we're good to stop here. You're good to stop. You're yeah. just on the other side, the forest side of the creek. One of my tails reaches around KJ and puts them on the ground. And as you pull the tail back slightly, uh, you can see that it is a little bit... KJ, you see that the tail is a little bit smokier than usual. Um, uh, David, are you okay? Um... Well, this is kind of weird that you're a fox. I didn't know that. I thought you were a human like me. Uh, but your tail is, like, awfully smoky. Uh, do you do you want my grapple? And I'm going to hold out my green apple to you. I put a paw out, pin them down so they finally know what a grapple is. <laughs> pin you. <laughs> grapple. Are you trying to do another tickle fight? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Well, you can still have my apple if it'll help you. I appreciate you, you taking me and um, and putting me on your back because I don't think that I could have outrun the frog. Toad. He kind of sits on his leg and, and like one of the, he starts scratching behind his ear. <laughs> uh, and as you do, you can see that the, uh, the scratching behind your ear, uh, KJ, you see another bunch of smoke just... <laughs> away from his ear and he starts to look slightly transparent i'm gonna go and like also scratch behind your ear and say um this is the this is the this is what i was talking about earlier but i think you're kind of disappearing on me friend <laughs> what's going on is everything okay i think you're going 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 back 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 to your world, 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 world. But I, but I still want my friends. I still want to talk to my friends. Uh, the you tails kind of coalesce, and he kind of goes back to the human form you remember, and just leans against gets the tree. <laughs> and you can see only he's only visible about from the knees up. 
and he's continuing to disappear upwards, fade and fading into nothing. But and you can see the same thing is happening to Peek. But, Peek. but you guys are you guys are my only friends that I have here. Well, we, I I don't know what to say. Was, He'll be watching, 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 watching. They would stop it. I'm gonna miss you two. I know well, we didn't know each care. other for like 1800 years, uh, but it, it really felt like we knew each other for at, at least longer than a day. And I'm gonna miss you, um, and I'm oh. gonna do my best not to ever forget about you. Um, if, I'm gonna if, go give, go give uh, KG a hug again. And I'm gonna <laughs> hug back and say, if oh. you guys ever want a hot dog chicken nugget, uh, just put a shiny rock out in front of my house and I'll leave you some hot dog chicken nugget. And I won't even put frog eyes in it, because I didn't tell the witch, but that sounded really, really gross. I'm gonna steal a bunch of stuff from your house, house, please, house, house. Please don't Hopefully do we that. Can see each other again, and, and it won't be under you having t circumstances where you're, uh, you're, you know, on our side. I, I don't know. I just go give your dad a hug. That's what you, that's what you wanted, and that's what you got now. So. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you guys can come to my side. Maybe you guys could hop the fence. <sighs> I would like that sometime. It's been a while. Dust in the wind starts playing. Is... <laughs> oh, <dramatic. laughs> Only for a moment in the moment's gone. <laughs> okay, well, um, uh, uh, okay, bye, I guess. I didn't even get to tell you guys my favorite joke, but, um, it's a fun one, but uh, maybe next time when you guys are here, uh, See you soon, I hope. As KJ turns <laughs> uh, and starts running back to the house, um, you see them take a, a quick glance backwards. And you two can see each other. You're both still there and can fully see KJ. Uh, stop and pause for a moment take a glance back but KJ all you can see is the last little wisps of Damon's smoke and a single feather fall where Pick was standing I didn't even get to say goodbye to Jim this or the yeah, to Jim. This is the worst day ever. I made my best friends, and now wait, they're wait, gone. Wait, can I like do a do a, like a wave? So like, does the wind hit KJ? The uh, feather that you le left behind gets carried on this gust of wind and floats slowly down in front of KJ. There you go. I'm gonna keep this forever. Thanks, pick. And I pick it up, and I don't put it into my pocket this time because I don't want to lose it. Like the shiny rocks last time. Dad! Dad, you're never gonna believe the coolest thing just happened to me. KJ! KJ, there you are! Dad, um, is oh, your foot my okay? Goodness. Oh my goodness! And he just runs towards you and grabs you in the biggest hug. And as you're looking over his shoulder, you see a frog staring at you to embrace. It just goes, and I'm gonna go back at it. What? Are you okay? Oh, uh, that I was just ribbiting like a frog. You're so silly. Oh well. Come inside and have dinner. Tell me about your adventure. That I already had the hot dog chicken nugget. Oh. All right. Dad, well, did you hit your head too? Anyway. <laughs> oh wow, that lie really he carried. Laughs and <laughs> ruffles your hair a little bit as you two walk inside. And that is where we will end our story tonight. That was so wholesome. I love it. Wow. Yay. Um do we want to tell everybody who we are and where they can find us? We want to start sure. with Daryl? Sure. Hello, I'm Daryl Dorsey. Uh, I played Damon Eath. Uh, never got my last name. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter at Mr. Underscore Daryl Dorsey and on Blue Sky at Daryl Dorsey. Uh, also here on Twitch at Daryl Sucks at Gaming. And also as the current storyteller slash DM for the Fan Game Podcast. Uh, that's all I got for now. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot it over to a Shiloh. Hi, everyone. I'm Shiloh. I played Peg, your uh, friendly neighborhood owl spirit. You can find me on Twitter at Shile underscore O with a zero. And uh, thank you so much, Jess, for having me on your stream. This is so much fun. And thank you to uh, Dennis for our lovely game. And I'll popcorn it over to you, Dennis. Uh, thanks for playing, Daryl and Shiloh. This was great. Uh, Jess, thank you for playing and hosting. This, is, this has been fantastic. Personally, I love when I just get to focus on running games and some problems. <laughs> um, you can find me at pretty much all the socials now. Soon to be soon to be coming to Blue Sky as well. Thanks for the code, Jess. Um, <laughs> at okayest underscore underscore DM. Um, I'm primarily a well, was primarily a YouTuber, so you can find a bunch of my content there where I make mistakes running games so you don't have to. Um, the Saga's system that we played today is a system of my own design. Um, on August 31st, a new version is going to be available for public playtesting. Um, I've been running playtests maybe three or four times a week for the past two months on my channel, and the, uh, I think personally, I think the the, um, the effects of that are going to be showing and how good the uh, upcoming edition is going to be. Um, as far as things I do on the internet, uh, on this weekend, wow, I'm not doing anything for like three days. It's a weird feeling. Um, <laughs> on Sunday, I will be on Tavernot over on Twitch, uh, helping raise uh, m money for charity. Uh, for his RPG a thon, we will be playing Fiasco hashtag superheroes. We're going to, instead of playing superheroes, playing the superheroes PR team. Um, after that, later in the day, I will be running another game of sagas. This one is going to be Cyberpunk Psychological Thriller. This is going to be a one shot. Uh, that is Sunday night. Uh, every Monday, you can find me over at Mistress Winter's Court on Twitch, playing our Pathfinder 2nd Edition campaign. On uh, Tuesday, I will be finishing up the finale for our Cosmic Horror 2-Shot of Sagas. Um, so if you want to catch episode 1 of that, that's over on my channel. We did that last night, and it got really intense. Um, then, a week from today... I will be doing a Saga's Weird Western over on Wally DM's YouTube channel. So I'm everywhere, but almost always doing Sagas. Uh, that's me for the next week. Uh, again, thank you so much, Chess, and thank you to everyone who watched and enjoyed our story tonight. And that leaves me. Um, I'm Jess, my pronouns are they, them, theirs. Um, and I run monthly charity streams um, on this channel, the one that you're already on. Um, the next game that I'm going to be streaming though is on August 30th. Um, and it is going to be an epic like level 20 game. Um, it's gonna be very fun, it's D&D. &D, and it'll be at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and then in September, on September 18th, I'll be doing a Thirsty Sword Barbie game. Um, and that one will be a charity stream. So hope that y'all can make it out to those. Um, just wanted to say a big thank you um, to Dennis for running Sagas for us. This was so much fun. Um, and thank you to Shiloh and Daryl for coming in and playing. I had a blast with y'all. This was so much fun. Um, I was on time and everything. Uh <laughs> yes. We all were. I, a oiled machine. <laughs> I definitely did not wake up the exact moment this was supposed to be happening because I got my times mixed up. Uh <laughs> time math is hard. Time math is it very, all worked very out hard. for the best. That's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. But again, um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night and hopefully we will see y'all soon. Bye.